What's up, what's up, what's up? It's T Walk the Hawk. Today's video is something a little different. Um, it's kind of an intro um, for a new series I'm going to be starting here throughout the next few weeks. Um, what I'm doing is, it's going to be on like finances. So right now I'm like doing a lot of researching, studying, talking to people who are good with finances, stuff like that, got their stuff together. Been learning a lot over the last few months, especially since I moved, met a lot of new people, everything like that, started reading a lot more. Didn't really read since high school. I dropped out of high school. But what this series is gonna do, I'm gonna do different sections, breaking out different things I've learned that I've kind of put into action plans myself steps I'm taking. I want y'all to follow me with me. Follow with me on my journey. I want to see if I can help y'all out. I want y'all to drop comments, engage on this content so I know where y'all are at, if there's anything y'all can help me out with, and if my videos are helping y'all out. So I'm going to do like probably a five, six part series, breaking out different things from credit, how to save, how to manage your finances, cash flow, stuff like that. Um, if you've been following me for a while, I'm 26 right now. If y'all don't know, if y'all watch like my old vlogs and stuff, I got my first home built when I was 23. Alright, so a lot of people that kind of know that they're kind of like that, how do you get your first home built 23? Um, what I did was, I didn't know that much about finances, but I knew some basic stuff. And I kind of accidentally just made my credit good, I guess. I didn't really know what I was doing, but it worked out. I was just kind of freestyling, it worked out for me. Again, dropped out of high school, 18. So you would think it would take a little bit longer. By the time I was 23, got my first home built. Um, that's with no cosign, so I didn't have like a family member with good credit or anything like that cosign for me. Did it all myself, got my credit good, it was good enough. Um, so these are the things I'm gonna touch on. I'm gonna tell you how, you know, what you need to do to get a house. Stuff like that, how to build your credit, based on where you're at right now. Again, I'm not a specialist. I'm taking y'all along with me on my journey of learning myself, but I have learned a lot. I'm um, just kind of giving y'all the basics and stepping stones y'all can take to get to where you need to go. Again, I did it before. Um, right now, I'm just trying to rebuild my credit a little bit, because um, when you're young, you make mistakes. Again, luckily, I made the right moves. So to get into a little bit more how I got my first house when I was 23, all I did, I got like a cheap credit card. Let's say the limit was like 250. I would, I had a cheap car. I would just use it to go play ball at the local court, everything like that. So I would put 25 on the credit card, go play ball, bang, in like two weeks, maybe a month, pay that 25 off. Next time I get gas, 25, pay it off, bang, bang, bang. I was making minimal, what's the word I'm looking for? I wasn't buying a lot of stuff, all right? I'm trying to talk too smart for y'all. I ain't that smart. <laughs> Don't let me fool y'all. So I wasn't buying a bunch of stuff. I wasn't using that 250 and buying a $240 pair of shoes and trying to pay it off for the next few months. I was spending 20, paying off 20, spending 20, paying off 20. Uh, I was in a old relationship, got left with a old, with a big electric bill, ended up, every money I got, I was, I wasn't, going and spending on clothes, stuff like that. I was putting it on that bill I was left with, paying that off, so they seen I was paying off consistently every two weeks, every three weeks, every month. Anytime I had a little extra money, I just throw it right on that, pay that off, and again, making them small payments. And for sure, my credit was pretty good, and it was good enough, just one day woke up, and was like, you know, I wonder if I can get a house, went and apply, and I got it, got the home built went from there, all right? But yeah, so that's, this is the intro to what the series is gonna be about, so make sure y'all subscribe. I'm gonna make a playlist so y'all can follow along. It's probably gonna be called something about finances or something like that, not sure yet. Again, I'm just talking, I don't have a script or anything like that, that's why I'll be stuttering and all over the place and rambling on, just being me. But yeah, hopefully this series helps y'all. It'll help me stay on my ones and twos, so if months down the line, I slip off, I can go back to it and see what I was talking about then so I can get myself back in the right mindset of saving, investing, stuff like that, all right? But I ain't gonna talk no more, just make sure y'all subscribe, like this video if you're excited for the series, and stay tuned. Again, it's probably gonna be like five, I wanna say like five, a five part series, all right? So check it out, it's coming within the next week or so, all right? I'll holler at y'all later, as always, do what you gotta do, do what you gotta do, because it's that simple, T-Walk the home. T-Walk, hit the battlefield and go berserk. 20-inch arms pumping iron till you know it hurt. He looking like he probably fresh out the pen. 
but nah, he just consistent, young and fresh off the gym.